This is your election headquarters and welcome to Election Digest live on your Joy News channel, Joy Prime TV and of course on Joy 99.7 FM. My name is Daniel Dazi for the benefit of our radio audience. It's 20 minutes to 11 a.m. We are um, just a bit over uh, 12 hours since polls closed and I can tell you the results are coming in thick and fast as uh, the TV audience can see on the screen. But for the benefit of the radio audience, we have the results from 93 constituencies so far. Getting interesting, John Dramani Mahama, NDC's presidential candidate, has 1,687,982. Once again, John Dramani Mahama has 1,687,982. Forty-nine point five seven percent. Nana Adudankwa Ekufuado, President of the Republic, has one million six hundred and sixty-one thousand six hundred and ninety-seven, representing sixty-eight point eight percent. Of course, all other candidates together have fifty-five thousand two hundred and ninety-seven um, coming together to make. 1.62%. What we'll be doing in the next couple of hours is that we'll be breaking down for you exactly how this happened, telling, taking you from constituency to constituency, trying to digest the results and also, of course, hearing from the key players involved, the parliamentary candidates and the new MPs elect. We'll begin by going to the Kole Klote constituency, my, where my colleague Charles Aite is standing by because Dr. Zaneta Rawlings has been declared winner at that constituency. Charles, um, good morning and tell us, what is the situation there at Kole Klote? All right, so Daniel, you can see from your screen, it's a very jubilant mood at the coalition center of the Kole Klote constituency. This is very much strategic for us to have this visual because you've seen a bereaved Janita Rawlings in a jubilant mood. This is in deterring her from her victory. Of course, this is provisional results we're getting from the coalition center. She was able to pull 39,343 votes as against her contender, Prince Deborah, who pulled 31,154 votes. Now, this is massive because if you look at the vote difference in 2016, it was just in excess of 4,000. But now we're looking at over 8,000 votes in difference against Prince Deborah. Also, just a little bit of a description of what we're seeing here as we take the cameras off Senator Rawlings. It's a jubilant crowd of supporters who've all come here to just feed into the whole mood, the celebratory mood here at the Colliclotic Coalition Center. Now, Daniel, of course, Senator Rawlings has a few speech to us at the moment. She's saying that she's waiting for the entire results to be announced, of which we do understand, considering the tension around the area. But it's very crucial for us to understand that this particular constituency is much more of a swing state. We do know from history, Daniel, that each and every parliamentary candidate of the NDC gets retained since 1996, just regarding the issues of exemptions in 2000 in that particular way. But this is the entire mood. Of course, it has been a very heated campaign for Zanetta Rawlings here at the political constituency. We shall be speaking to her shortly, but she tells us that she's waiting to sign onto the pink sheet and she's waiting for the results to be officially declared by the polling agent before she can have any other form of interviews. But there she is, jubilant as she is. Yesterday we got in touch with her about her plans for the constituency and she's talking about development, development, development. So we shall be hearing more from her today, especially when the, the results are officially declared. When we have our provisional results, we are expecting the official declaration any moment from now, Daniel. Charles, thank you very much uh, for that update now. Uh, Charles IT, of course, reporting live from the Kole Klote constituency. We'll come back to you, Charles, when Dr. Zaneta Rawlings grants us that interview. And of course, very shortly, I'll be taking you to our smart wall where we can understand exactly the impact 
of this win. As you can see there, the NDC and the MPP have shared uh, the Polyclote constituency over the past, uh, or since 1996. It's only in 2016 that Dr. Zanetto Rawlings managed to clinch that seat in a parliamentary race and the MPP won in the presidential race. We'll be curious to know who won there in the presidential race as well, because as we can see, that was a skirt and blouse constituency in the last election. Let's go back quickly to the Kole Klote constituency where Charles Aite has joined us on Zoom. He is currently um, with Dr. Zanetto Rawlings. Charles, take it away. Hello, Daniel. So as you can see, she's currently making her way to the vehicle. We shall be speaking to her shortly. She has agreed to grant us an interview but you could imagine the scenes behind us. You could imagine the jubilant crowd in that particular way. This is unprecedented. 8,000 votes in difference. It comes at a time of sadness in this space. I think she joins us now. So how has this been a moment for you? Massive victory, 8,000 votes. How do you feel into this victory? Sorry? How do you feel into this What's it's, it's a mixture of feelings. You know, I wish my dad could have been here. I wish my organizer could have been here. But such a blessing. But a lot of work has gone into this. And I'm just so thankful to God and everybody who's worked so hard. What's the priority? The priority? The priority? In terms of? In terms of? In the constituency, what's going to be your priority next? The, the issues that were there are still there. And they have to do with education youth skills training and development, as well as the other issues that, you know, are quite scary with health and, and other things. But um, for today, we just want to give thanks. Thank you very much. Daniel, so sorry. I think you barely hear because of the sound. But what exactly she's been saying is that her main priority next year is going to be that of development and skills training. This will be her two major priorities next right. year, Daniel. And of course, her, 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 her main priority comes in the wake of the message that her main contender raised against her during the 20, during this year's election. We're talking of issues regarding we're talking of issues regarding law uh, matters of development among the human resource in this constituency, matters regarding truck gutters and slums, issues regarding thefts, unemployment, and everything that comes to it. We do know that Zanetta Rawlings in her own light has done everything possible to maintain her stead in this constituency. And based on the interactions that she's had with us, her main focus next year will be two major things, development, and human resource. Daniel. Charles, I say thank you very much. So you just had that confirmation that Dr. Zanita Rawlings has picked up the Clote Cole constituency. And interesting for you to know is that she's managed to widen that difference between her and the NPP candidates. This time around, it was Prince Deborah. From 4,000 votes difference to 8,000 votes difference, that's nearly double the performance from four years ago. Impressive indeed if you're looking at it, but we'll crunch more of the numbers to see exactly what it means later.